the country's most successful land developers has three children, two of whom excel while one goes completely off the rails. I want to know what might have sent Charlie down that path. This isn't your first time, is it? The article makes it look like she's inexperienced. Base is too important for her to cut her teeth on, Dave. I don't want to go in sideways on us. Charlie had something to hide, and you have something to hide. But you know what? It will come out. Don't you ever tell me what I have to do! It's called Blood and Water. It's a new Chinese crime drama premiering on Omni this Sunday, and I'm joined by three of the amazing series stars. Peter Outerbridge, we've got Simu Liu, and Loretta Yu, good morning. Good, good to yeah. see you. Yeah. So I was privileged to watch the first episode, and you can see right there, it is brilliantly done. It reads like a feature film. When you were part of this, did you realize how amazing and big and incredible it would turn out because you, I'm sure you do many things and then you're like, I'm not too pleased with the product. This yeah. is getting tons of buzz. I mean, you always, you always hope for the best, right? But I mean, we had a very rushed shooting schedule. We had a lot of pages to get through and not too much time. So I'm, I'm very, very, you know, su surprised in a good way. Please. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> so it is set in Vancouver and obviously a lot of those shots, the backdrop is that, but then you shot a lot of it here in Toronto, which is where many of you are from. Mm -hmm. So what was that like being able to be there and shoot a lot of the scenes? you know in such a beautiful landscape it was it was really I'm not used to spending all, very much time in a gigantic mansion yeah. um, so it was definitely very 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 nice and um, yeah it really got me into the character of feeling like you know very out of place because as my character uh, she she's not the type that lives in a mansion so um, yeah, it was definitely, it got, got me into character. Talk about your characters, the dynamic, the premise of the show. Who wants to tackle that? You're the face of this investigation. You're looking at, you looking uh, at me? I'm looking at you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. Um, well, I'll, well, I mean, I'll yeah, start by saying that it's, it is a cop show, but it's really more about the family. Yeah. And, and so, uh, you know, I play one of the police officers. But our job is really to just sort of guide the audience to the next amazing performance of the family, yeah. and then we sort of go off and ask a bunch of questions. But it really isn't a, a, a typical procedural like mm. that you see on television, a cop show on television. It is that family-driven intrigue and drama, and mm -hmm. it's all the interpersonal relationships on yeah. what it means to be a family, a wealthy family, or mm -hmm. come from a different you know background, yeah. and how do how do they all interact with one another? There's some racy scenes. Mm -hmm. How do we feel about that when reading through the script? Excited yeah. to be honest. It's it's a very exciting thing to be part of something that um, that makes you nervous, that scares you a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, it scares. It's scare. It's some scary subject matter to tackle. So it's definitely very exciting to yeah. be a part of it. And it's not every day that you know Asian Canadian performers get a chance to take on these roles. So yeah, really, actually, very refreshing looking through the script. Is that why you all wanted to take part when you saw this script for the audition? What was the driving force? Um, I'd worked with John like we had before, so uh, he literally called me up and he said, you know, I, I've got this really cool thing and I'd really love you to be a part of it, so could you, so I was lucky enough, and I've sort of brought in, which was great. Um, uh, I don't know what the process was like for you guys. <laughs> well, we did have to audition, and actually, the thing that was different about this audition was we had to prepare a paragraph in, in our home language, in, in Mandarin. Loretta, you prepared. Or in my, in my case, yeah, in, in, in case. not in my home language, in Mandarin. Oh. <laughs> I also had to do it in Mandarin, oh, so yeah. was that a challenge for you? It was you? a major, major challenge, but thank goodness for this guy. He was able to help me out and sent me a recording of My his, dad of was able dad. to help both of us. Yeah. Shout out to your yeah. dad. Yeah, 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 shout out to my dad. dad. Yeah, because there's a credit Hopefully at the end watching. of the show, yeah. right? Which, by the way, airs this Sunday. There's back-to-back -back episodes on Omni beginning at 10 p.m. You can see these incredible faces and great talents in action. And I'm going to tell you this, I don't know if you've heard, but season two is already in development, which means everybody's saying this thing is going to be a massive success. Mm -hmm. So hold on to your hats. Do you feel like a family? <laughs> oh, we already. absolutely, All absolutely in the water? do. Yeah. See them in action this Sunday at 10 on Omni. Thank you so much. Right now Thank we're throwing over to Jen. She